E, sneaky, that's better than And tonight I'm going back to look at XPad 0.9.2. I looked at it for quite a while now. I just wanted to see what's going down because it's been a bit quiet recently. So here's the first screen you get. Live CD, by the way. Automatically connects to Ethernet connection, so that's really good. If we go to menu, you get Firefox. We get the terminal. No media M player, or well, we know media player. Bebo, don't put it like that. Google Calendar, Facebook, and YouTube. So, it's not too bad. Straight to YouTube, blisteringly fast. It's about a 63 meg download, by the way. Boots in about 8 to 10 seconds. That's super fast. Really, really nice. I like. So, that's not changed too much. The quickness and everything else, that's really good. Well, if you, I've got Firefox up there anyway to do other stuff, but hey, don't worry about it. Now, your file system. Here it all is, that's all you get. You can install it to USB or hard drive, but if you're installing to a Linux system, it's all manual. There's no auto install stuff. Never mind, but if you don't mind challenge, it's okay. Now in the settings section, this is where some things have changed. I'll just show you my system staff I'm using here. An old Intel Pentium dual core, a whole geezer one, two, you know, oldie oldie. Memory, caches, etc. Nothing much new there. It looks and works okay. So this is where some of the changes have come. Now when we used to click here, there used to be an auto install option. But now, if you click the download section, you only get the binary file. It doesn't actually install it for you. Now that's a bit of a bummer really, because if you really want to use this, you're not going to want to install it via the terminal, are you? So that's not pretty good, is it? That's pretty bad. Pink, what you done, mate? What's happened there? I bet he's got a super brilliant job wherever he lives. And thought, oh, I'll give this a rest. But as you can see, if you're willing to put the work in, there's lots of stuff here. I've also went, went into their testing section. There's loads and loads of stuff there if you want to try and install it. Backup, by the way. You can backup data and changes. Just click backup, basically. Nothing else you have to do. And then restore it when you come back. Nothing doing. Because I'm live CD in here. I've not installed it to a USB or the hard drive. And just live in because I'm in the box as you can see. So when you're in the box you don't get many options for your screen resolution which is why this one seems a little bit stretched because I want to make it nice for your screen when you view it on the tube and if it's too small it's no good and you can't see things. So yeah. Anyway we'll go to the fox and as you can see there's no start page. It's entirely up to you what you make your start page really. So I'm going to the Bubaka as I would do. Look Google. Phew. That's blisteringly fast, isn't it? Considering I've got a slow internet connection, that's really, really fast. So I'll go to the home page, look, comes up really nice. I'll deal for web kiosk. And if you've got an older netbook, this would be really good. But it does like its RAM, minimum 256. 512 recommended, I'd recommend more than that, at least a gig, which you can do even on the old 900s. The old SS 900s, easy to do. On the whole, it's a bit about the auto install. <clears throat> and nothing much has been done, but I thought I'd have a look and see what's going down. But yeah, it's okay still. Super fast. Give it a try. Live ISO. Sneaky Linux out.